Hello there, welcome to Beauty Bee and welcome to my three month update for my Project Pan 2022. This is a 22 in 2022, say that five times fast, project. So I have 22 products that I am working on. I've actually already hit my goal on two products. One I did last month and one was this month. Of course, they're the two categories where I told myself I was just going to roll things in. So I am still working on 22 products or not working on 22 products as the case may be. So let's get into things. And I think we're going to start with the category that I'm just terrible about consistently using. And that is my miscellaneous category. This has a little bit of skincare, a little bit of hair care, a fragrance. And there are two products that I did not use, I think, at all in the past month. The first is the Ordinary AHA BHA mask. That is that red mask um, that comes in a dropper. And I don't know that I've actually touched that this entire year. I had a really bad skin reaction in February that then continued through probably the first half of March. So I'm not about to touch anything that's any kind of peel. The other is a heat protectant and I don't know why I haven't used that. I clearly could have used it because I absolutely fried my hair last night with my hair dryer, but you know what? We all make choices. Some of us just make really bad ones sometimes. Now the three products in this category that I actually did make some progress on are first the Ordinary Argyre Line Solution. I've been using this on my forehead pretty much every night. I'll occasionally use it in the morning too. I think there were a few days in the month of March where I didn't do my evening skincare, but overall I was really pretty good about it. And you would see that reflected in my markings if I'd done a good job of marking this bottle. Here is where I was last month, and here is where I marked myself for this month, but I'm clearly well below that. Clearly, I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to marking bottles, but it's gonna look like I made a ton of progress in April. So, look forward to May 1st in that update. Next up, we have this OGX Nourishing Coconut Milk anti-breakage serum and I had not made any progress on this in January or February and then in March I used this maybe three or four times and I think it is nice. I think that a portion of what I thought was this product was actually the Eva NYC mask. I think I just happened to use this in conjunction with that mask the first two times I used it. I haven't been nearly as impressed with it when I've used this without that mask, but I did not make impressive progress this month. I moved from that maroon line to this green line, but I made some progress and that is more than I have done in the past two months. So yay for me. And then finally, we have the perfume that I'm working on this year. This is the Oscar de la Renta Bea Blanca. This is a 50 mil size and oops, wrong side. At the beginning of the project, it was up here. I think I also stayed there the following month. Last month I was down here and now I am all the way down to here. And I almost wonder if this bottle is deceptively large because when I shake this, let me see if I can put it up to my mic. It really does not sound like there's a whole lot of product in here. It definitely does not seem like it's, I don't know, a quarter full the way it looks from the bottle. So we shall see. I think that this could probably be gone in July maybe. And I think that would be great. This is definitely, I think, more of a spring scent. It is a pretty light, white floral kind of scent and I just don't see myself wanting to use that in October, November, but we shall see. That really goes for all of these products. I don't have a good sense of how long it will take me to use things up. And case in point, 
let's move to face products and this liquid highlighter that I have so many questions about. This is from Wet n Wild. This is their Mega Glow Hello Halo liquid highlighter in the shade Halo Graphic. I'm wearing it today. It's what's giving me this purple glow. It is really pretty. I marked it here, but I can't see it now. But when I was using it today, I really thought that I saw a fill line that was just beneath this black line. So I really don't know what I'm doing. I clearly don't know how to mark bottles. We've seen that twice today already, but I'm using it. I'm enjoying it. That's really the goal of this project, and we'll see how much I can use of it. I'm not that invested in actually finishing that product or even hitting the goal that I set for myself on that product, so we'll see. I'll just keep, keep on keeping on with that. Next up, we have a blush. This is from Bare Minerals. It is a mini gen nude blush in the shade Call My Blush. My goal with this one is just to hit pan. I have another blush that we'll see in a couple of minutes that I'm trying to finish this year. And I have used this several times in the past month, including today. I was looking at my uh, Project 100 uses sheet and I think I've used this something like 25 times this year, which I think is quite good. I mean, that's what, using it about twice a week, which I think is on track for how I want to be using this product. And there is a little bit of a dip starting to form. I do not think you will be able to see it. I'm not 100% sure that I can really see it or if I am just telling myself there's a dip forming, but yeah, this is another one. We'll just see. I really do think I'm making good progress on this though, so I hope that by the end of the year I can hit pan. That would be amazing. So I was gonna make you wait a little longer, but I guess it makes sense to talk about my other blush now, right? So this is in a Physician's Formula palette, but it is actually a Wet n Wild blush that I've repressed, and it's, it's the one that looks really messed up. This is the Wet n Wild Rosé Champagne blush. I just repressed it in here and I've made really pretty good progress on it so far this year. I did not have pan when I started the year and now I have this little crescent, actually two crescents of pan. They haven't quite married in the middle yet. Um, it's quite thin really through sort of this whole area and then there is quite a bit more product built up along this outer perimeter, but I think I'm making good progress. I think that I should at least be able to join these two parts of the pan as well as um, expand along this ridge in the pan a little bit in the next month. And I really feel like I can see that inner ring and I feel like I can sort of see that inner ring too, so I don't know. Maybe I will have some pretty significant pan next month to show for you. I hope so, that would be great. Then I have two more face products. The first one is really exciting. This is from Tarte. This is the Park Avenue Princess Deluxe Bronzer and I hit pan. I hit like a significant amount of pan, I think. Look at that. I think that's the most pan I've ever hit in a bronzer in my life. I'm, I'm pretty stoked about it, honestly. I have been using this, I would say two to three times a week all year, sometimes a little more, sometimes a little less. I'm not wearing any bronzer today, but I've been putting this over my cheek sometimes, mixing it with my blush, or I'll put it on my forehead. Um, occasionally I'll use it as a semi-contour. It's, you know, kind of warm and kind of glowy for that, but I do it anyway because I'm a rebel, I guess, and it's worked. I hit pan. 
My goal is to finish this this year, which seems kind of lofty, but you know what? I'm at the point where I've hit pan. Maybe it's not as far out of reach to finish this as I may have thought. I mean, it is really thin throughout the product. There's almost the original amount of product that's just here along this side, but otherwise it's, I've definitely worn it down. I'm pretty happy that I hit pan on this. I'm really excited. I don't use a lot of bronzer. I Even when I do use bronzer, I don't use a lot of it. So any progress on bronzer is good progress in my book. And then we move to, well, to this magnetic palette, but specifically to the It Cosmetics powder. Now, I cannot remember if I had pan in this last month. If I didn't, I hit pan very quickly after. It, it seems like an old pan to me, but I don't know. I'm I'm all discombobulated today. Look at that. There's a good little pan. And I feel like the pan has grown pretty significantly every time I've used it since I got pan. So I think that this is going to start going relatively quickly. I don't know that I've really used this powder in the past week or so. I think that I have been using my Laura Geller, Geller? Mercier. Laura Geller. Always get those two confused. And my MAC one more, but hey! Maybe this is a better update than I originally thought. I, I was feeling a little bit down about it when I sat down, but you know, it's really been going pretty well. And you know what, let's just keep with this little magnetic palette. Take a look at this eyeshadow. This is a purple from Wet n Wild. I have since repressed it into this magnetic pan, but look at how little is left. I mean, there's a tiny little bit that's stuck to this edge. And there's significantly more around this edge, but I'm getting close. I think I could have this done this month, which would be awesome. Be down one eyeshadow, you know, maybe that could make up for the fact that I'm up 50 eyeshadows since the beginning of the year or something ridiculous like that. Anyway, I'm making good progress. I'm really happy with that. You don't need to, uh, drag this video down by talking about how even though I've been project panning to try to move some things out, my collection has been growing what feels like exponentially. So next up we have an e.l.f. eyeshadow. This is their liquid, uh, liquid glitter shadow in the shade 24 karat gold. And I had to take the stopper out this month because it was getting just difficult to use. I could get a nice application on one eye, but no matter how much I dug in there, it felt like I couldn't get a nice even application on, on eye number two. So I took the stopper out. I've only used it once since I took the stopper out. And unfortunately these dry out really quickly once you remove the stopper. I think it's still good for now but I think this is going to be decluttered in next month's update, just because I know from experience that six weeks is kind of pushing it once you take out the stopper on these, and it's been two or three since I removed the stopper for this one. So kind of a bummer that it won't get used up, but I have gotten some use on it. I'd used enough that I couldn't get a nice amount of product out without removing the stopper. So yeah, mixed feelings on that one. Let's move next to my Maybelline City Mini palette. This is in matte about town and I am working on the pink and the white. I tend to use this pink one to blend out my crease or as a transition shade. I guess those are really the same thing, aren't they? Um, or I'll just use it as a really soft crease color. 
the white, I generally use to set my eyeshadow primer. Sometimes I will use it on my brow bone as a highlight, but I feel like it's a little bit on the powdery side for that, and I often prefer something that just has a little bit of sheen to it in that area. Anyway, I think I'm making good progress on this. This kind of looks like a, like a face of dismay right now, but that'll probably change as I continue to use these products, though it's, he's kind of adorable. Anyway, moving on to the last eyeshadow piece that we have to talk about. This is my NYX Ultimate Utopia shadow palette. I worked on this a lot in last year's Project Pan, but this year I only have two goals with this project product. First is to hit pan in this purple, and there is a little bit of a dip going, not a whole lot. Unfortunately, I keep pulling in Panda's eyeshadow shades that look so much like this. I've had I had one in in January, and then I just pulled another one in like a week ago. So we'll see. It'll be slow going on this one, but I am determined that I will hit pan on this this year. This was in my project last year as well, and it just clearly didn't happen. The other goal I have with this palette is to hit pan in this peach shade, and I am close. I think even you guys can tell from this angle that there's quite a dip going on here. I think that I am within probably five uses of hitting pan. The last few times I've used this shadow, I've kind of half expected that I'm going to see pan, but it hasn't happened yet, but it's close. So, so close. So I may well have three eyeshadow goals hit next month. That would be really cool. I don't know if that's realistic, but I would love for that to happen. Let's move now to lip products, which is our final category. First, we have a lip product that I don't think I used at all in the past month. This is from ABH, and I so didn't use this that I grabbed the wrong one. I grabbed the shade Vita, which is red. I'm actually working on the shade on the shade Dead Roses, which is like a mauvey, cool toned nude shade. I'm not too worried about going and grabbing that because there's no progress to show you, but I will make sure to include it in my lineup photo. Next we have another mini lipstick. This is from Pat McGrath and this is the shade Executive Realness. This was one of the shades that I wanted to focus on in the past month, and I did use it a few times. So I'm making actually pretty good progress with this one, I think. I think that this one I am going to again focus on in the month of April because this is just the kind of shade that I've been wanting to wear recently. It's not what I'm wearing today, but I feel like I could have gotten quite a similar effect from this lipstick, and I've been wanting this kind of effect like three days a week recently, so that one I think I will make some good progress on. Next, let's talk about what I actually am wearing today. This is Sassy Mauve from Revlon. I've mixed it with another Revlon shade, which is Cherries in the Snow, but this is what's toning down that bright pinky red of cherries in the snow quite a bit. It is a pretty shade. I realized that I hadn't rolled it quite all the way up, but I've used this, I would say three or four times in the past month, which I think if I can keep that up, I will probably finish it by the end of the year. But I would like to, you know, pick up the pace a little bit and maybe instead of three or four uses, move up to like six or seven. Could be fun, you know, actually work on your project pan stuff, but that might be a lot to ask of me recently. And then another Revlon Super Lustrous lipstick. There is powder all over the bottom of this container and I don't know where it came from. Anyway, another Revlon Super Lustrous lipstick. This is the shade Secret Club. And I'm a little bit further along with this one. 
This is the other shade that I told myself I was going to focus on this month, and I have actually used it quite a bit. I would say that I probably used this six-ish times in the past month, and it's really starting to get down there. I will not finish this in the next month. I don't think I'll finish it in the next two months. But I think that if I really honed in on this and decided that I was going to finish it, I could have this out by the end of the summer. And I'd really like to do that because, I mean, this is very pink. And I don't know that I'll really want to wear this a ton once it starts getting colder out. Feels so weird to talk about it getting cold out again when it's March. Well, I guess it's April as I'm filming this. Happy April Fool's Day. And anyway, it really hasn't gotten warm here yet, but yet I'm talking about it getting cold again. We don't need to think about that. Last, well, clo one of the last lip products I have to talk about is from Seraphine Botanicals. This is the Fruit Butter Lip Mask. I was working on a soft lips balm for the first few months, and then I finished that in last month's update and I rolled this in instead. I was at this maroon line, I moved down to this green line, so I'm making good progress on this and I actually think my progress is going to speed up a little bit. I finished off two products that I was basically using as lip balms in the past months and I feel like I was only maybe using this a third, maybe half as often as I would have otherwise, so you know, I think I can make some pretty decent progress in the next month. Maybe get down to, excuse you. <laughs> anyway, I think that I can make good progress in the next month. Maybe get to, down to around here. And this should not be a difficult product to finish by the end of the year. This is a little bit of a more natural brand, I think. So I want to use this up before it goes bad. This says... 12 months, and I think we are quickly coming up on 12 months, so it'd be nice to get this out. I don't always pay attention to those dates, but you know, I at least like to use them as a goalpost. And then the most exciting product in this entire update is from NARS. This is the Afterglow Oil Infused Lip Tint. I have mine in the shade Primal Instinct. I also have two other shades, which is why I decided to roll this in because A, they aren't really that different, and B, do I really need three of the same product? Debatable. But anyway, my goal was to finish this. Here is where I was at the beginning of the year. Here was the February update. This was the March update, and now it's gone. It really looks like there's some product at the bottom, but I can't get it out, so there's no product as far as I'm concerned. I really enjoy this product. I find it to be super moisturizing. It's just pleasant to wear. It's actually moisturizing enough that it's one of the products that was distracting me from this Fruit Butter Lip Mask, but it's gone now. This is one of the two categories that I told myself I would just roll in new products as I was going. So I decided I would bring in another lip balm, or sorry, I would bring in another lip gloss. And the one I have decided on is from Kiko. This is their Pop Revolution lip gloss. This does not have a shade name, but this is shade five and this does have quite a bit of color i think i said that i was going to aim for nude or sheer glosses this is orange it has glitter so you know so nude so sheer but there's what it looks like i just figured that this is actually quite comfortable. It can be sheared out a lot more than it is right there. And this was on clearance when I purchased it. So I don't know how old this actual tube is. I've had mine for about a year. And 
this is just very much a summer shade for me. If I'm going to use this up, it's going to happen during the summer. So I thought I would give this a go. I have actually used a decent amount of this. This was full all the way to the top, I think, and now I'm hanging out right around this green line. So I've used up this silver tubes worth, but I have a lot left. But I am working on a coral lipstick in another project. Yes, I'm only trying to get 10 uses on that, but I think that between you trying to get that out this spring and then through the summer, I think this is not an unreasonable goal. Famous last words, eh? I'm really happy with the progress that I have made in the past month. I think it's great that I was able to roll out a product and I'm excited to hopefully meet my goal on a couple of products in the next month. Um, I'm just really happy with how this project is going so far and I hope that your project pans, if you are doing any this year, are going just as well. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed and that you'll consider liking and subscribing if you did. My waving hand is occupied, so instead we'll just say, happy planning!